Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Today we will learn on survival distribution for chapter 1 in actual mathematics 1. As an introduction, actual mathematics deals with analyzing and managing financial risks which depend on probabilities of survival or termination. So, if we're talking about risk, we need to deal with probabilities. Uh, there are two events that, that we are interested on, which are survival or termination. Termination for this subject, we refer to death. Survival models used in life insurance or pension are often related to the lifespan of a person. So in life insurance or pension scheme, we need survival models to estimate lifespan of a person because the time of death is uncertain. So we have to estimate the time of death of an individual. For example, in the case of simple whole life insurance, a benefit payment is made by the insurance company at the moment of the insured death. So benefit will be paid at the moment of the insured death. When an individual purchase insurance, so we call the individual as a policy holder. If this policy holder insured herself, so the policy holder also we call it as insured because he or she insured herself. Second a situation whereby the policy holder purchased the life insurance to her spouse for example so meaning that the insured is her spouse so the insured can be the policy holder itself or other person so to determine the price of such insurance the company needs to calculate the present value of the benefit. So if we draw the timeline, present value would be at t equal to 0. So at t equal to n, the future benefit payment. Since the payment is made in the future, the benefit amount has to be discounted by an assumed interest rate. So we have to discount the benefit payment to time is equal to zero. So we need the present value to price the insurance. If the timing of the payment in the future is fixed, we can use the method of computing the present value discussed in subject business mathematics. In business mathematics, the N already fixed because it involves only for investment. So the investor already um, determined the N years. However, in life insurance, we cannot determine the end because the end is the time of death. Since the time of death is uncertain, so we cannot determine the exact end years. That's why we need probability distribution to estimate the time of death. Therefore, in life insurance, we need survival model. In life table, 
there are a probability of death for each age from 0 100 years. So from age 0 to age 100. Based on natural assumption, future lifetime of a given life is a random variable. In life table, there are columns for age. So we denote it as x start from 0 until 100. And we also have probability of death, probability of survive so meaning that at age zero probability of death is at certain value and probability of survive also at certain value until 100 years first section probability for age at death we formulate the uncertainty of age at death in probability concept. So there are functions that you have to know. First, we look at, at the notation. Big X, age at death, random, variable. So we denote age at death is big X. The small X is an individual age at X, meaning that at the current age. Tx is the future lifetime of X, whereby we take big X minus X. So the period from small X to big X, we call it as the future lifetime. We have to take big X minus X. Let us consider a newborn child. So a newborn child, the current age is x equal to 0. So fx is the distribution function of x or age at death. df also is known as cdf cumulative distribution function it refers to probability that a newborn dies between each x it refers to probability that a newborn dies before each x fx the distribution function of x must fulfill three characteristics first it must be continuously increasing and the fx at t equal to zero must be equal to zero and fx at t equal to infinity must be equal to one the probability value must be in the range of 0 to 1. So the value of big Fx must be in the range of 0 to 1. Since it is probability of death at time t equal to 0, the probability of death must be equal to 0 because a newborn child have zero probability of death. That's why big Fx at time equal to zero equal to zero. However, when the baby turns to age, let's say 20, the probability of death is increasing. It must be greater than zero. When x is equal to, let's say, 90 years old, the probability of death becomes higher. We can integrate the PDF from 0 to x. 
second notation, the survival distribution function SDF. We denote it as SX. It's the complement of FX. So we have only two events. Whether survive or death. So that's why Fx referring to probability of death the Sx is probability of survive so the equation is equal to 1 SDF also have three characteristics. First, SX is non-increasing function. Second one, at t equal to 0, SX is equal to 1. And at t equal to infinity, SX is equal to 0. At t equal to 0, the probability of survival for a newborn child is full, meaning that Sx0 is equal to 1. When it reaches to the older age, let's say 60, the, the probability of survival is decreasing. It can reach to 0. That's why this function is non-increasing or we can call it as decreasing.